<laughs> Marvellous. Well, here we are all again. Oh, I'm exhausted. And it's complicated tonight. Why? Well, we're trying to do complicated. First of all, can we bring her in back by popular demand, Nikki? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Right, and now Nikki, we're going to try and do. We're going to try and have a little bit of an unsprung quiz tonight. Oh no! Uh, yeah, we're, we're, where's the camera? We're doing it again. Uh, could you? We're going to. We've got a quiz for you, and we're going to ask you some questions, and you can go straight to Nikki. Special <laughs> drink for you guys. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 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 Again, <laughs> no, not with me anyway. I can tell you. <laughs> the quiz, yes, the, the quiz. quiz. Come, this is the quiz for you, right? right. We're going to ask four or five questions, and you've got to get on the message board to Nikki and try and answer them. Okay. And the first one, we'll give this to. Wait a minute. Who's is this one for? Chris, could you do this okay. one? For I can. Got clips I can indeed. And, and and clips and everything. We really have to work Okay. Out so here's Here the go. question. Here's question number one. Then. So, yeah. uh, which beautiful bird of prey? Featured by Simon in the woods of Mid Wales, were seen on their plucking post and are currently raising two chicks. Which beautiful bird of prey, featured by Simon in the woods on plucking post, currently raising two chicks? So just to be clear, yes. our viewers yeah. who are brilliant, and again to answer viewers, yes, viewers, two or three, three. Yes. Um, have got to get onto their computers, quick, smart. Yes. Send it to Nikki, yes. and she and, they, and she will tell us who comes up with yes, the answer. Because in two minutes we're going yeah. to ask the next question. I've Ooh. had three replies and already. No. Yes. Fantastic. You see, it's going to work. It's going to work. It okay. is. No, okay. no. In the, in the meantime, in the meantime, well, she's going to collate them, oh. and at the end there'll be a winner if they get them all right. Ooh. Does that make sense? Sort of. Kind of. Kind of works. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Okay. We can't we'll leave it to Nick. She's really bright. She'll organise it. <laughs> Nick, you've got the brains over there. Yeah. You can do all that. While yeah. you're at it there, Chris, yeah. would you like to read out that letter? Well, it's not the whole letter. Right. Isn't that nicely? There's a sort of pricey bit of the key thing. Because you told us about how to rescue birds if they hit glass and uh -huh. daze themselves. Mm -hmm. What should you do? And this lady's got a wonderful way of doing it. OK. Um, She's 71, this lady. Good luck, mate. Right, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I've just got the gist of this one. Um, Jill Brown, miss, age 71, gently picks up and puts the birds down her bra, the middle part, because there's more room. <laughs> Which I now I guess, it, I guess I guess well, there is, isn't it? I guess a thirty-two <laughs> could probably rescue a gold gold crest. That's right, yeah. Someone like Jordan could rescue a, a bustard. <laughs> yes. <be> <laughs> <laughs> That's not a one nice thing to call Pete. I mean, you know. Oh my right. goodness! Thank right. you, Jill. Yeah, do you know? I know a lady who keeps bats down her bra as well. Yeah. She nuzzles them into and her. And also, ample. it's quite a common thing: people hatching chickens eggs down their bras. Do they? Does that not happen? Does that happen in Welsh Wales? Yeah. That is a <laughs> big thing. Yeah. Right, so, Simon, Simon, could you please read out our second question, if, if you have it there, please? Yeah, the second question uh, on tonight's viewers' quiz is which of the families, the bird families, featured in this year's Spring Watch was the first to leave the nest? Right. Which was the first oh. to leave the nest? Ooh. Right, got that. That's the second one. That's, that's that one. Not suddenly and, tricky. <laughs> and can I ask Simon this question? Because I think this is this is what it's sort of me and him. Right, this hat is relevant to this question. Okay, okay, here we go. Birds and bikes question. Hi guys, this one's for Martin. <laughs> Do you remember the Diablo-style motorcycle helmet from the 70s? The motorcycle, a bit like that. From memory, it had brown and gold metallic swirling patterns. A friend was motorcycling in the Highlands, very important this, when he was hit on the back of the head with something. It happened a second time, almost causing him to crash. A second rider travelling behind saw what he described as an eagle dropping out of the sky and hitting the helmet like an old flower... Uh, an old flower sack falling from the sky, leaving a shocked rider, damaged helmet, lots of feathers and dust and debris. The consensus was that the bird was attracted to the pattern on the helmet. What was it? What was going on? Wow. That's an extraordinary story. I, 
first of all, I really doubt that it was an eagle. I really doubt that it was a golden eagle, but I think it's very likely it was a buzzard. And in fact, a couple of years ago, I heard an account of a buzzard, I, I can't remember which county, I think it was in Devon, that was so, so protective of its nest and defending it so voraciously that it would attack and dive bomb just about anybody that walked within 100 metres. And perhaps, as, as the uh, viewer suggests, the pattern on the helmet was a good target. Thank goodness he had a helmet on, that's all I can say. Just goes to show you <coughs> must wear headgear yes. at all times. I think maybe it was just a bird complaining at the horrible noise of a motorbike screaming oh, through its valley. <laughs> was this the origin of the term Hell's Angel, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> on to the next question. <laughs> Um, Kate, you have a question. You haven't given it to me. Oh, have I not given it to you? Sorry, no, sorry, here we go. Here we go. Hopeless, there we go. Like sorry, Bruce sorry. Forsyth you have a question and a letter. Like sorry, there we go. All right, what do you want us to do first? Um, question. The question, please, yeah. Okay. Get that question out there. All right, viewers. <laughs> which, which camera shall I do it to you, Mike? I'll do it to you because I haven't talked to you for a bit. Uh, what animals featured on the show were named Zippy, Fee, Wee, and Elaine? Oh. Zippy, Fee, Wee, and Elaine. Send your answers to Nikki, please. And there's a little letter for you behind oh, it. Oh, yes. It's a little bit like Christmas, isn't it? It or is. It's quite exciting. Like have you been, so have you been kind of trawling through the Springbok mailbag? Yes. All we've been, day? We've... <laughs> <laughs> You're awfully good. Oh, look, this has been sent in by Jack Burton in Norwich. It says, Dear Kate, Springwatch has been better than ever. Congratulations and many spa thanks. Oh, this is many spanks. Thanks. Many spanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Congratulations and many thanks. Especially them, for the way in which you soon knocked those two young lads uh, into shape. I like the oh. young bit. That's great. <laughs> I like that too. The young bit's good. Yes. I like that one. Thank you, Jack Burton. It's incredibly hard work, I can tell you. Right. Here right. we go. Another quick one yes. for you. Now, this is from the children of Loose Infant School who've been watching Springwatch and finding out about nocturnal animals. Chris, they want to know, how do owls turn their he heads so far around? Well, they don't actually turn their skull on top of their vertebral column. Owls have a very long neck because uh, but one of the reasons is that they swallow their prey whole. And we watched our kestrel tearing up its food. Had we been watching a barn owl, we would see it gulp down the vole in one go. And one of the ways they assist in doing this is by stretching their neck up. And what they actually do is they turn their head on top of the column, as we would do, like this, but then they twist their neck. And by twisting a long neck, they're able to turn their head through 360 degrees. 360? Is that really true? Oh, and a little further. Some of them, are, are, the, the pygmy owls I watch some, sometimes at the Hawk Conservancy actually twist their head all the way around a little bit further. But they have very long necks, so that's it. That is bizarre. Right, Simon, sorry, may we have one more question from you, please? 